Let's now go to the northern region, where the Tolan Hospital in the region has now begun operating after its inauguration 13 months ago. The facility became a topic for discussion after several concerns were raised by residents over the stress they had to go through in accessing health care many miles away in spite of its completion and inauguration. Here's a report by Christopher Malcolm. Until the completion of the hospital project, the only health facility was a chips compound constructed many years ago. The over 100,000 people within the catchment area had to travel to Tamale to seek health care. But in 2015, the elsewhere NDC administration secured funding from Eurojet to construct some four district hospitals and a polyclinic in Sola, Tolon, Somanya, Veta and Bamboy. Though these hospitals had all been completed and inaugurated, none was operational and became topical when President Ekufuado announced the construction of some 111 hospitals across the country. Many Guineans were of the view government should have channeled the resources into completing, equipping and operationalizing all existing facilities. Now, the 60-bed Tolon Hospital is operational. Some patients who visited the hospital shared their excitement. When we were used to go to Tamale for health care, the Lord Fair was a main problem. And then if you go there, the feeding and then the other things. If you use your motorbike and go there, you will be at the facility whilst taking care of your patient. Now, before you realize, someone will come and take off your motorbike without your notice. You don't go. Even if you have some little headache, you will come here. When you come here, everything is safe. The hospital, which started operation some two weeks ago, has recorded 250 OPD attendants and conducted 20 deliveries. He is optimistic the facility can do better if it receives some funding from government. He identified lack of potable water as a major setback confronting the facility. We are thinking that if the facility could get its own water tanker, we appeal to the district assembly and they are taking care of the, the water. They made us to get a tanker service, so the tanker supplies and then they pay. But we know that is not sustainable. The Tolon district was created in 1988 and subsequently split in 2012.